Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're going to be going over my bow setup for the year. It's the Matthews V3. Uh, I definitely like this bow. It is a big upgrade from my old bow, which was the Matthews Creed. It is a 31 inch axle to axle bow, a 30, 30 and a half inch draw, 70 pounds. And uh, still, still working on getting a few parts for it. But I, I decided to go with the black gold three pin is an adjustable sight and uh once we get it broke in good we're going to start playing with the tape and everything we're going to once i get new arrows and everything like that we'll uh we'll get it set up just right but i, I definitely love this sight um i switched over from a from a five pin and the less pins you have in looking through that peep sight the better in my opinion but uh never was a fan of adjustable sights until i found out about the three pins is because it's got your 20, 30, and 40 yard pin ready. And if you ever want to adjust it, you know, shoot out far, messing with your buddies and hanging out, you can do that as well. This is a Matthews rest. Um, I believe is also made by QAD, but uh, definitely a good rest. Uh, always been a fan of that, that uh, particular design. And once we get everything situated right, I'll have the, the color matching quiver and stabilizer. But uh, for now, all that stuff can wait. Still got a long way to go for season. This is a, uh, can you look it up? Let's see what your broadhead is. Do you have service? Only if you put this part in the video. <laughs> this will be my broadhead of choice for this season. This is a Slick Trick Viper Trick four blade, 100 grain broadhead. I uh, shot this broadhead last season, killed a few deer with it. Um, definitely a very sharp broadhead, straight flying, um, very durable. Um, you can, you know, it, it all depends on where the deer is hit, but I would assume that you could kill several deer with this broadhead and never have a problem. And I'm, I'm definitely going to shoot it again. All right, guys, this is the, uh, the nocturnal lighted knock. I definitely recommend any sort of lighted knocks while bow hunting. Uh, you can be more sure of where you hit the deer, especially whenever it's being filmed. Um, you can go over the footage and you can really see where that arrow hit the animal. So if, if you were to make a bad shot, and you could, you could go back and you could review that footage and see where you hit it to know whether you should go in and find it immediately or give the, the animal a few hours to lay down. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this episode. We did not go over my arrows that I'll be shooting this year because that has not been determined. But uh, hopefully we'll be, able to, we'll be able to talk about that in October once we can get in the stand. But thank you all for tuning in, and hopefully we'll have much more to come.